Pluto, it's not the brightest dot, it's not the most impressive dot in these slides. Um, it's just the dot that moves. Pluto starts with a P and an L, which were Percival Lowell's er, initials. And so if you look at each planet, they have that shorthand symbol that astronomers can jot down really quickly. Pluto's is that P and an L. And like I was saying, it completely changed Clyde Tombaugh's life. He went from this unknown Kansas farm boy to a world-renowned astronomer overnight. He ended up getting a scholarship to any school he wanted to go to. So he went back to Kansas and got his master's in astronomy to be closer to his family. Then he came back to Lowell Observatory and he worked here. It's not Mars. Mars we've been able to pick out just by looking with the eyes. It's one it's, that doesn't have that you don't remember that? Is it Earth? Like Is it Jupiter? I think it's Jupiter. Was that Jupiter? Nope, we're gonna go past Jupiter. Nope, not Jupiter. Nope. Oh, wait, no. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, Saturn. So every inch is about a million miles. Yeah. Yep. Was that? Yeah. Oh, I got it. Oh, yeah. Uranus. Good job. Good job. Good job. Carbon, and you guys know what happens when you put a whole lot of pressure on carbon? Get diamonds. So they think there's a diamond core structure to both Uranus and Neptune. That it rains diamonds in the seas of diamonds with diamond icebergs in it. So if you really want a good get rich quick scheme, these are your two planets to visit. Um, however, you have to weigh off how badly you We're going to keep going past Neptune here. Uh, unless you want to stop and mine for those diamonds, we're going to go all the way out to Pluto. <laughs> it's a theory right now that there might be another large planet out there, but I think I've got one here. And it looked like this right here. Um, this guy over a little bit more. It's really, really kind of blurry gray, not very exciting. Um, it's the best picture we had. If you wanted to use this to research anything, you're not going to get a whole lot of um, good information from it. You zoom in on it, get very pixelated. However, in um, July of 2015, we had this New Horizons mission, the one with Clyde Tomba's ashes on it, fly past Pluto, giving us back more wonderful images to actually things like that. Um, Pluto's a whole lot more brown than we thought it was as you're looking at these pictures. That's because of these pictures, any of this information up there on Pluto, um, it, was just, or it was demoted long before we had this one. How many of you guys still kind of consider Pluto planet in your heart? Anybody? Oh, yeah, no, a little yeah. bit. You guys are on the side of my heart and my hometown mm -hmm. pride. Um, however, I do understand also why it was demoted. Um, and that all comes down to another object out there that they think is relatively similar to Pluto. It was discovered by Mike Brown in 2005. It was known as Eris. Hey guys. Yeah. Yeah. And welcome to today's vlog. He actually studied math at Harvard University. Then um, he tried to possibly dream of to pursue their passions. 
They were still expected to make successes of themselves. The eyepiece giving you your image. In this telescope here, um, it had a 42 inch mirror down at the bottom, the 42 inch primary mirror down at the bottom. The light would come in, hit that, go to the smaller secondary mirror, which was that tiny little circle up at the top, and that would send it to the eyepiece to actually give you your image. Now, another trend through astronomy history that you're looking at is trying to get the clearest images you possibly can. Um, you want to get as less atmospheric disturbance as you can, giving you the clearest images um, to actually do your research. There is an astronomer named Fritz Zwicky. His name's kind of all over astronomy history here. He actually used to fire a rifle off next to his telescope every now and then, thinking that would give him a really clear image. It was actually counterproductive, it made things worse, but that was just his thought process. Um, here at Lowell Observatory, we tried something a little bit less extreme. We tried to build a telescope dome into the ground. Um, the only part of this telescope dome that was above ground was the part that rotated. Everything else was underground there. And we thought this would make the wind kind of steadily go over the dome, giving it a little bit clearer, and it would keep the mirrors at a constant temperature so that wouldn't cause any problems as well. Turn upkeep of the house, it was condemned, it was deemed unsafe for us to even use for storage, so we had to tear down its original mansion. Um, the only thing left out here with that seven foot telescope, because the East Coast was just starting to get far too bright to actually do the research for us. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, wow. Go and over it there at and night, it's so pretty. Oh, I bet that is. Whoa. Do you see that? So Alvin Clark and Sons was very, very, very good at grinding down these um, lenses to the shape and size they needed to be. The telescope that I want to tell you guys about, um, the first one we already talked about pretty in depth, that was Percival Lowell looking for that life up there on Mars, <clears throat> trying to map out those canals. What was most likely happening is he was seeing the back of his eye reflect off the eyepiece of this telescope here. And then Look at this view. Yeah. I wonder if that's pretty. Milton. No. No, Ken? 89. That's 89? Yeah. Five guys. Pluto is the furthest one away. But you say that may not really be a planet, right? Mm -hmm. They declassify. You guys come to five guys, look for this. Yeah. Alright guys, we're on our way up to uh where are we're we going? Gonna have to go slow. 
Yes, we're going back up there, right, Mom? Yes. For yeah. the nighttime. For the nighttime uh, viewing. So that's going to be cool. Yeah, fine. We have the drain, so theoretically. Amazing. Nate, Grandpa will do that, but you have to catch him down there. It was so warm in there. It was warm. Were you dozing off? I was just using people moving. I was going to. Wake up. Oh, look, look at the sky. Not that. How funny is that? That's where we came from. And there's a dome. You can plot the. Wait, this is real? Yeah. Wait, what is it? 535 pounds. What found is in Canyon Diablo. Oh. Yeah, Meteor. you guys have been to Meteor Crater, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, that's where this was found. And feel how heavy this is. It's, it's it is like metal. It is, like it is metal. Steel. It's, it's burned it's up metal. Yeah. yeah. As it came through the atmosphere, it was burning up. There it is right there. Where did it come from? All right. I don't know. See, this, where, no, this is 535 yeah. pounds. Yeah, that was fun. Just Here, I'll grab this one. So I know we out. Have one of these. Yeah. If you guys ever want to come here, here it is. There you go. It'll be interesting. Ah. Uh, yes, I think we. You know, we've, we've been have very fortunate today. We have. Yeah. Yes. Have we'll see you later. Thank you for everything. Oh, Fire oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm gonna end this vlog. I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, please give this video a giant thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I know many of you guys are new, so just click that subscribe button, and more videos to come soon. So, Dude, what? what the heck? Oh. It's so damp right here. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. Don't forget to make sure and be kind to one another. So Bye, boop, beep, so whatever you want to say, beep. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so more. <laughs>